Welcome back to Project Clio, building a NAS. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the components we're going to be building the NAS with, starting with the CPU. As our original mainboard of choice with its embedded EPIC processor was off the cards, I needed an AM4 CPU. So my desktop got an upgrade, and the project got a second-hand AMD Ryzen 3600 out of it. This is a Zen 2 base 6 core CPU with a TDP of 65 watts and a base clock of 3.6 GHz. The CPU also supports PCIe 4 out of the box. This is more than ample for what we need. As discussed in the motherboard episode, we needed a cooler Nintendo 4 L Intel LGA115X CPUs. And the case has is limited our height restriction. So we have gone with a Thermaltake Engine 27 1U low profile cooler, which apparently supports CPUs up to 80 watts of TDP. Though it does say 70 watts on the box on the front and 80 on the back. We'll see how we go in operation, as it can get warm here. The memory we'll be using is the Kingston KTD PN429E. 16 gigabyte SOD modules. These are unbuffered ECC modules supporting speeds up to 2933 megahertz. I'm going to have a total of 32 gigabytes. This will leave two spots slots free so we can upgrade our memory in the future if required. Though the mainboard has a NVMe slot available, I've decided to leave that free and utilize the two internal SATA drive bays in the case. I'm going to be using two crucial MX500 500GB SATA SSDs. These are consumer grade drives with 1.8 million hours mean time before failure and with up to 180 TBW or terabytes written of endurance. This will give two technical drives that will be used in a ZFS mirror direct connected to the motherboard. Our stored drives will be connected to a Silverstone ECS04 SAS controller, which is essentially a LSI host bus adapter 9217-8i, capable of supporting up to 8 SAS slash SATA drives via two SFF8087 connectors. From the factory it will be operating in IR or integrated RAID mode, but we, as we are using ZFS, we'll need to change that to IT or initiate that target mode. This will require a firmware update, which we will cover in a future video. As our controller card uses two SSF8087 connectors, while our hot swap backplane uses SATA connectors, we need cables to connect to two. Here we're going to be using the StarTech SAS8087 S. 50 cm with one 36 pin SFF8087 with four 7 pin SATA connectors. As we have two cables and six drives, we'll have one spare each. For our storage drives, we're going to be using the Crucial MX500 2TB 2.5-pin SATA SSDs. Again, these are consumer grade drives with 1.8 million hours mean time before failure and with 720 that's written of endurance. I would have preferred NAS oriented drives with a higher TDW, but exorbitantly high prices for really low capacity and a general lack of availability has drove the decision to use these drives instead. At the end of the day there will be six of these drives configured as a ZFS RAID 2 Z2 array sorry which will, should give us about seven to seven and a half terabytes of storage. For the power supply we're going to be using a Corsair SF600 F, SFX modular power supply which will give us up to 600 watts 
of power with 80 plus platinum efficiency. It is a modular power supply giving us the option to only use the cables that we need and also gives us the ability to modify them as we have already done. See episode 4 to see what, how we did it. So this is essentially it. Thank you for watching and now, as always if you like what we do here please like and subscribe and have a nice day. Thank you.